Wow, so sustainability is quite key here when you talk about emissions and so on. Tell, tell me a little bit about that. How does that work out for real? Yeah, so everywhere. I mean, we've, we've seen it for a little while around modal shift from, from road to rail. Um, so if there's two key problems that, uh, the, that um, governments and countries are looking for rail to, to solve. One is the congestion issue that you know, I've alluded to getting freight in particular off of road onto rail through modal shift. And you see that specifically as you, if you drive around Europe on the motorways, etc. there's at least one dedicated lane of traffic is just semi-trailers nose to tail for as far as you can see. So, uh, but we're seeing congestion now, as I said, in aviation. Um, we're seeing it in um, the shipping. There's there's not enough ships ships to move the uh, to support the global supply chain. So we're seeing it for, um, a demand for modal shift from all of those different transport modes onto onto rail. Um, and the other key problem that, that we're looking to solve is is the one of the you know CO two emissions. And most recently with the Glasgow Accord, everybody signing up to net zero by uh, by 2050. Um, so we're able to kill two birds with one stone. If, if we again take the example of modal shift from road to rail, you know, a an intermodal um, freight train of about 1.5, 1.8 kilometres long is the equivalent of taking 200 B double semi trailers off the road. Okay. Um, and then from an emissions perspective, that saves um, the emissions from so running three locomotives compared to 200 B-double semi-trailers is about a 98% reduction in CO2 emissions. We're seeing that again in uh, aviation to rail, uh, not just in CO2, but the other harmful emissions from aviation. There's about a, uh, about a 95% reduction in emissions, harmful emissions, uh, going from aviation to rail. And in shipping as well, again, not necessarily CO2 emissions, but other harmful emissions, we're seeing about a, a reduction of about 84% in those emissions as, as we go from road to rail. So you put those two things together, if, if we can solve congestion, uh, not just in, in the freight world market and getting the semi-trailers off the road, but in urban passenger settings as well, you know, an eight car passenger train uh, is the equivalent of taking about 400 private vehicles off the road and easing congestion within our cities. So we can ease congestion and we can do the majority of the heavy lifting in reducing CO2 emissions, the transport related CO2 emissions, um, through the single initiative of uh, rediscovering the value of rail and in investing in those new rail services.